the hairdryer is now solid so let's see if we can continue to do some solid work on this part so here we can see that we have an angle so this is something that we should uh, also do in our model uh, we could also add a little bit of rounded features here and maybe we could also go for the pattern that we have in the back here let's jump for SOLIDWORKS so here we have the solid body and we can see that because we have in the folder here we have a solid body uh, if you don't see the solid body folder you could still check if it's solid just by doing a cross section and if it makes uh, a blue fill in the middle there then you know it's a solid thing okay we cancel that so let's make an angle here in the front of the hair dryer now I would like to see the mother sketch again so we need to find it and I think it was under surface loft so right click and make it visible now we could connect to the mother sketch with this line I use a plane again and in this case I would like to have a front plane a side plane here so we just go from a side view here flat sketch and choose a line and now we will we will borrow or connect to the mother sketch here make a line again and connect so it follows this one now I just would like to extend this a little bit further so I know that it cuts through even if we redesign the hairdryer a little bit okay so that's it let's do a solid cut so let's go for the yellow features here and cut means laser burning so I just go for extruded cut and we get an arrow here showing the cut direction and we would like to cut to the right if we tumble in space a little bit we see also that it cuts in one direction there but we would like to cut in two directions or through all and then we get a preview here showing that everything will be cut so let's go for that and now very easily we have managed to change this one and remember this is connected to the mother sketch so if we go back later on we could change the angle here and it should update let's uh, add some uh, fillets on, on this one let's just jump back quickly and see what kind of yeah, it's just a small fillet there here we have a little bit bigger fillet okay so we go for fillet just go for the edge that is a big one maybe we could go for three millimeter or maybe even smaller let's go for three and I also like to have a fillet down here so choose fillet and go for the edge there and here I would prefer to have a big one so how about eight maybe good so let's have a look at the back here so when you're panning you could hold down the control button let's make a cut in here uh, that we could pattern so I go for extruded cut in this case I will make a relation to this plane here so it's okay I click here but I know that I have connected to this plane uh, look at the corner let's go flat because we're in a sketch so if I maybe go for a center line it's not necessary always to have a center line but I find it quite nice to have so if I throw out the rectangle here and by purpose make it a little bit non-symmetrical we could start to uh, force it to be symmetrical so if I shift click a center line and two other entities we could make it symmetric so now we have good symmetric we 
could start to add fillets and you don't need to have fillets in a sketch we could also add filter fillets later on but in this case i will i will add it in the sketch there's a tiny little fillet there 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 and there except uh, radius one uh, let's decide the width here so looking at this five maybe as much let's go for four and the total length of the cut maybe 25 we can change it later and we go out from the sketch and it proposed to go in 10 millimeters and why not and maybe a little bit less let's say go for eight okay so a pattern uh, the mother sketch if, if i hit f I, I get back the part so if it disappears just choose f as fit and uh, the mother sketch could be hidden so i go for hide that clean up a little bit let's pattern this one i go for and it's really black here and uh, this is the ambient occlusion that is supposed to be a good thing uh, while modeling maybe you would like to turn off ambient occlusion so it's easy to see what's going on uh, where it usually is very very dark with ambient occlusion on linear pattern linear pattern needs a direction so now you just need to find an edge or a line somewhere pointing in the direction that you would like to travel so in this case here i could take this edge here and say this is the direction i would like to move in so direction one if you have a direction two you could add in that as well but this is the only direction i would like to go so i'm happy with that you can see the distance is right now it's 80 millimeters so uh, that, that's really far away so if i just go for let's go for eight millimeters and i would like to see a preview here so i click full preview and of course we need to add the stuff that needs to be patterned so silly me in this case we have features uh, that we would like to pattern and, and it's this one that is a feature we get the preview and just seeing that makes me happy so now we could just add more uh, more of these that didn't work ah i'm just messing around with direction two sorry it's direction one so that, that's better okay maybe we could fit in seven no i go back to six and you could also tweak the value here in between okay oh we could move this up a little bit so if you would like to go you, you can actually choose a second direction and go a little bit in that direction as well or we could move the first sketch so if i go back to the original sketch here and jump into that one we could just move that upwards and it's absolutely blue it's not constrained here in the in the position so if we would like to do that we might use a center line center lines could be really helpful so if i just connect the center line from midpoint to midpoint and then take the distance from that center line down to zero zero then we could choose another value here so let's go for 20 and then i push it up a little bit let's go a little bit higher maybe 24 accept that and now we have a pattern that is a little bit more centered there okay uh, we could have made it a little bit wider so if i double click on the feature here we have that value so maybe we dare to go to 30 and i would like to rebuild so i click rebuild and it updates yeah i will go for that 
next step here is to make this into a shell. So when you, you make a shell and have made some almost like holes here, the shell will make thickness all the way around, which is pretty cool. Uh, we, we could use that uh, by adding uh, a cavity for a screw. So let's say you would like to have a screw here. We could add a cut here as well. So let's see if we could do a revolved cut. Uh, we could also use cut extrude, of course, but it's a li little bit easier by choosing just the front plane here and here in the middle in the symmetry plane make a little line and revolve around that. So I go for extruded or revolved cut I mean. Uh, when you revolve you always need a center line. So let's say I would like to have it in the same direction as the underneath there. So if I choose to go first of all go flat and then shift click these two I could force them to be parallel so just by doing that I adjust that so it's absolutely parallel and then I make a hole here so maybe we could make a little bit of draft angle as well so instead of going parallel I could go out a little bit and then back and then in again. So I will revolve that and laser burn away stuff here. Uh, let's make some dimensions. If you dimension towards uh, a center line, let's say that point to a center line, then you just move to the other side of the center line and you get the diameter. So let's say I go for 8 millimeter here. Uh, and this one I talked about uh, a draft angle, so let's just make a two degree angle there and let everything else be blue here. We could add dimensions later if we like. And now I propose to laser beam in there, so the preview is good, I just accept that. Okay, so now we have made a hole there. Uh, if we make a cross section, this is what we got right now. So we have something going in there, we have these going in a little bit, but it's absolutely solid. Let's make uh, a shell out of this. Uh, so if I cancel this, I go for the powerful shell command and I hope that it will work. First of all, thickness. So let's say we decide for two millimeter thickness here. This is of course depending on the 3D printer that you will use or if you're going for production. Uh, I think 2mm is a good start. We don't need to do anything at all now except choosing surfaces that should be opened into this cavity or the inside. This is supposed to be air uh, intake here so if I click on these surfaces here they will be removed. So I just choose that and accept. We get a warning which is very very common. Uh, wh what it says here is that somewhere in the geometry it's curving a lot very quickly and with two millimeter thickness stuff might not be exactly offset in two millimeters. So this is like a warning, so maybe it will work anyway, but we should be aware of this. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's go for a cross section. Yeah, look at that. Um, so I'm happy because it's not always you, you have the shell command to do exactly what you would like it to do. Uh, a, a trick is to change the thickness if you have issues. Uh, talking about issues, here we could see that we have something strange going on here. And I just recall that from the first video that I actually recognized that there was something funny in the symmetry plane here. So that is possibly something that we should fix.